All right, Sarah, thank you. We're putting you on alert tonight. There's someone going door to door in local neighborhoods asking people some very personal and probing questions. Yeah, it has a lot of families on edge tonight because this man says he's the neighborhood watch captain and he is definitely not that. NBC Charlotte's Xavier Walton joining us live now with the latest. So, Xavier, this could really happen to anybody. Yes, yeah, sir, and that's exactly why we're doing this story. It hits home for a lot of people, really anyone that has went ahead and answered the door. That's why tonight police are warning the public about an old scam with a, a new twist, catching people off guard. First words out of his mouth to me were, hello, I am your neighborhood crime watch block captain. For Charlotte Bonilla, that was the first red flag. I am a block captain. A captain that just opened her door and came face to face with a phony, a poser, a man pretending to be a captain on their neighborhood watch. I listened to what he had to say though because I was curious. Looks could be deceiving. He looked polished. But it didn't take long for Charlotte to see right through him. Not one of them would ever ask a question like, what kind of valuables do you have? When are you not going to be home? That's a blueprint for robbery. Word spread of a scheme that had scam written all over it. He called 911. And Swan, also a member of the Pawtucket Neighborhood Watch, Crime and safety. warned people on the next door social media app. This is the first. It, it just screamed scam. A scam that started with a simple knock at the door. It's like in five minutes time, he took that from me. Well, the neighborhood watch wannabe hasn't stolen anything just yet. He did rob Charlotte of something else. He just kind of shattered that sense of security for me. I have to think twice now before I answer my door. And on that note, police are recommending that if you do open the door, make sure that someone else is home. If you're alone, maybe look through that people or look through the blinds. And if you do encounter someone or as an imposter, go ahead and call local law enforcement. Reporting live, Xavier Walton, NBC Charlotte. All right, Xavier, thank you.